So it doesn't have to get complicated if you're starting out as a book editor, book proofreader, or a content editor, however it is, it is very straight to the point. I remember back in 2007, 2008, when I had to start my book editing business. What, do I edit only books? No, I edit everything content, website content and all of that, right? Now, this is a business preparatory video. So if you're somebody who probably is working in nine to five, climbing the, hard, the ladder in the corporate world, but you really know that you really want to set up a business for editing, proofreading, consulting on book projects and all of that, or even movies, script writing and all the whole gamut of editorial prowess, you know that that's something you have been women meaning to do for years. Now, I'm going to give you more like a starter kit. This is like a toolkit to help you know the things you need to start with. And of course, I've also added a material down below that has even much more that you can download for free and also go set up your business. Okay, so if this kind of video you want to watch, you want to start your book editing business now, keep on watching. All right, so I actually itemize them in four broad categories, what I call the business category, technical category, self-development category, and the money tool category. So these are like the four sub headings I'm going to look at, a few of the things that you need to get ready before you price yourself and put yourself out there as an editor. Many people always ask certain questions like, oh, do I need an English degree? Do I need to do this? How much do I charge? All of that. So I'm going to put go through that in a jiffy, right? I'm looking at my laptop, right, guys? So don't worry if I'm not looking your way, right? So on the business tools, I think that the first thing you need to have, the first thing you need to have on that business is to have an experience of editing or proofreading, right? So you don't necessarily have to buy it yourself, especially when you don't know how to at first. All you need is to get people. People are writing every day. People are even, I even used to approach people who already have published books. And if I have see errors there, I approach them and I say, I can edit it for you so that you can have a revised edition, right? So you can approach anybody who is writing thesis, fiction, non-fiction, just try your hand at something and make sure that you can, um, you know, have an evident of works you have done. That goes a long way in helping you market yourself when you're ready. The, the second thing under the business tools I think you should have is, of course, testimonials. These people that are going to do this for, especially if you're going to charge them really low, you know, because you're starting out or even free, make sure that you get testimonials of what they feel about the work after you're done. That will also help your marketing, especially when you want to get high-end clients. Testimonials will go a long way to help you market. So don't just say, oh, I want to start this business and I want to know how much I'm going to price. I want to create a website where you don't have these tools. Previous work experience and also testimonials, right? The third thing on that business tools I think you should really need to have is to be able to make sure that you are fluent in English. So now that is if you're going to edit in English. You can edit in Spanish, your language, whatever. So whatever language that you decide to work with because you're very fluent in it, please make sure that you understand that language in depth, right? You understand it at the level of listening, at the level of writing, at the level, at the level of reading, and at the level of speaking, right? So don't edit in a language that you, you don't have full grasp about, right? So I'm going to go straight to the second category. There are other things under these business tools. I'm going to leave them in. It's already there in the um, ebook I want you to download. The other thing uh, under technical tools you must have, of course, you need a laptop. Yes, you don't use um, hard copy and pen to edit. If not, you're going to still have errors that are not done. You have to understand how to use the laptop to edit. Secondly, you need to have a knowledge of Microsoft Word at the level of tracking changes. Tracking changes is very important under the review pane. Very important. Another thing you need under the technical, of course, you must understand how to use social media to market. Very important. That's the technical tool you need to start with because most of your clients are going to people if you're going to market on it on a broad base apart from talking to people that you know in your church around you among among your family members you want to be able to gather a lot of clientele you know in a short time social media is definitely way to go right um, and i have more things other technical tools you need to go download the freelance business editing toolkit to be able to get all of that there are so many things that you need to get ready under the technical part. There are things like invoice, non-disclosure agreement, all of those things. They are all under the technical part. So you need to go download it right now, right? Under money tools, very important to be able to determine how you want to charge. Whether you want to charge per time, that's hourly, or you want to charge per page, or you want to charge per word. You have to determine that costing 
very fast okay and i can also give you a guide on how to do that you know much later if you if it's something you want to learn on the money tools another thing you need to decide is your turnaround time from when you start working on somebody's script to when you deliver it how long should it take and how do you determine that length of time usually i would say use the volume of the work you have to get all of that ready to know like 20 pages of work should be delivered in x number of days if the work is 200 pages or 300 words however you have to determine your turnaround time looking at the volume of the work and you have to have that predetermined so that when people send your manuscript you already can place their work at the turnaround time that you time frame that it fits in and that's so important okay and there's so many other things on that the money too i'll mention one more and you also have to determine how much you're going to charge for somebody who wants it quick 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 like somebody who wants express you have to determine the cost for express services right and there are so many more things you need to get to do under the money tool but like i said it's already there in the ebook down below right so finally on the health tools i'm sure you want your health how did it come there you must have an exercise routine see guys <laughs> exercise is not a one of those good things to do is the must if you have to do this kind of work that is sedentary just have an exercise routine right on my course i actually get you to kick start it hopefully my students are still doing it every day and i tell you how to do that even in between your work as an editor number two thing you have to do as a health tool to help you is i need a good diet plan right you need a good diet plan i'm sure that this will also help you know how whether pricing yourself doesn't come as just anything you can't allow imposter syndrome or low self-esteem make you price at that level so because you need a good diet plan you need to take care of yourself right you need to take care of yourself very very important another health tool that you need to pay attention to is um, the fact that you need brain boosting foods you need to eat brain boosting food things that will nourish your brain milk for instance is a must i think i have a whole session for it as well so these are some of the things that i think you have to keep in mind and of course i have several of them also just go download the freelance book editing toolkit Freelance book editing to okay, right? That's the name. What's the name of my book, guys? Freelance book editing business toolkit. Go download the freelance book editing business toolkit, right? I wrote this book for you and tell me know and let me know what you think in the comment section if you still want to me to take your hand, you know, to take your hand step by step and show you the get to show you how I do what I do, give you behind the scenes perks, you know, give you templates and to work with and all of that, then you can come on my course. Just let me know by sending an email right now or go through the, my description. You're going to find the course and sign up and I'll talk to you again pretty soon. Okay, bye.